Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I have a whole house cleaning video for you guys. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into making the bed. I always start in my bedroom when I start with the whole house clean. I don't know why, but there's just something about making the bed that just starts off off my cleaning mood. <laughs> Once I make the bed, it's like I can't be stopped. So you'll notice I put the pillows on first on Fred's side of the bed and I it's because I totally forgot about the comforter. I don't know what I was thinking, but I totally forgot about it. So I had to take them back off and put the comforter on and then put everything back on. By the way, this comforter is from Bed Bath & Beyond. Thank you to my stepmom for buying it for me. I love it. It's super lightweight, and I like that it's bright white. Also, who else has like 50 million pillows you put on your bed? <laughs> so I was just showing you guys there that I am using the Method Wood Cleaner. It's an everyday, all-purpose cleaner, basically, but for wood. I absolutely love this dusting spray. I love that it's not an aerosol. I love the shine that it gives all of my furniture. This dark wood here um, and also my black wood furniture in my living room. absolutely love my wood furniture in my bedroom but you guys it collects so much dust so fast I I don't know what it is but literally within a week or not even a week like a few days this will be all dusty again it's crazy but I absolutely love it it is Ashley furniture I don't know if they still have it though I use the method window spray or a glass cleaner I guess is what it's called um, for my mirrors and my windows. I love it. It not only smells great, but it is also streak free.
So this rocking chair is a major family heirloom major. I don't even know if that's correct. <laughs> Um, it was giving, given to my mom from her great grandma, which would make it my great great grandma. It is so old. My dad had it redone for my mom when they first got it, like 30, 30, almost 34 years ago, because my mom got it when she was pregnant with me. I absolutely love it. It is so pretty. It just, and it makes me so happy to have the little reminder of my mom. I could say that you didn't need what you want to me. Maybe I was wrong, even once wasn't anything. I just wanted to tell you guys that I absolutely appreciate every single one of you that has subscribed to my channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure you do hit that red subscribe button as you're watching the video. Give this a thumbs up for more videos like this. But I just appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so, so much for all your love and support. I appreciate it. So I was going to take the windows out and clean each one individually, but you guys, they are so heavy. I mean, they're the original windows from 1978 when this house was built, and they're so heavy. And yeah, I just, I didn't feel like taking them out, but I did want to wipe them down because they had been, I haven't cleaned them probably in about six months, so they were really dirty. Also, seeing those windows open and me in shorts, I am reminiscing on the warm weather. You guys, our weather took a dip. We are expecting frost here in the next couple days. Uh, I want the warm weather back. I hope it comes back soon. This vacuum is the Shark Rocket. I think I have it listed down below in the description if you're interested in it. They do have a newer version out now, I believe. Um, but anyway, there it is, guys. All clean. Oh, I love it. I am so happy. All right, guys, so I had footage of me cleaning Freddy's room. I have no idea what happened to it, so I thought I would give you guys a quick peek of the before and after picture, and then we will move on to the kitchen. I slowly drifting by. So I 
yeah, basically just started dusting the furniture pieces all around my kitchen area and also taking some of the Easter stuff down. Um, I did leave, which you will see here in a minute, I did leave our Easter pillow up, but it's because I really just don't know where I want to put it to store it, but yes. So, on to finish dusting everything. is definitely an issue you guys in this house I don't know if you just saw my ziploc storage there <laughs> we buy the big bundle boxes of ziploc bags from Sam's Club and I had nowhere else to put them so that's where they ended up so this coffee stand here is a new addition I basically made the plans for it and Fred cut it and built it for me and then I stained it. I absolutely love it. It is my favorite piece in my kitchen right now. Um, I did have a checkered little, or not checkered, but buffalo plaid um, runner on it, but it was being washed so I had already taken all that down. enjoying this content today please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up I would really appreciate it and it really helps me out with my videos absolutely love this fireplace guys but that little space right there that I am dusting I am having a hard time trying to decide what kind of decor to put in there because it's not a very big space at all it's more flat but it is deep so I don't know if you have any ideas <laughs> drop them down below in the comments I would greatly appreciate it because right now it looks funny I have books on the far right side but I don't know what to put in this spot so help the girl out also, that little blue cup right there is not decor. A uh, little piece of my plant broke off my umbrella tree plant right there behind me, and I was going to try and get it to root so I can replant it. We'll see. It's been in this cup for like a week. I don't know how long it takes to get roots on a on something like that, but we're gonna try it out and see what happens. So I guess right now it does it, it is part of the decor. I am just using the Method glass cleaner um, for my curio and then again moving on to the windows. Again guys, I was going to take these out but they are just so heavy. I mean the little ones on the sides like the slider ones aren't but the big middle pieces that come out 
are very heavy. So I just kind of split them around and clean them that way. Um, I'll take them about out eventually though when it warms back up again. I've also been debating on putting curtains up in this area. Let me know down in the comments if you think I should or if I should just leave it the way it is. We do have like a blind that comes down, I guess you would call it, but I don't know. I don't know if I should put curtains back up or not. Let me know. to vacuum again and I am just loving our new carpet it is so soft so squishy and it leaves the best vacuum lines I love it it is so satisfying So as I was vacuuming, I realized that I totally forgot to dust this shelf. I don't know why, but I always forget this shelf. I don't know if it's just because it's away from everything. I don't even know, guys. <laughs> I totally just spaced and almost forgot it, so I decided I would hurry up and go back and dust it off before I finish vacuuming. Yes, I did this double vacuum the hallway. I can't help it. I was walking on the vacuum lines and it was bugging me. So I did revacuum it to give more vacuum lines. I'm crazy. I know. Before I started cleaning, even before making the bed, I did spray the glass top of my stove here with oven cleaner. Um, it was a tip or trick I saw on TikTok. 
Um, so I decided I wanted to try it out, and you guys, it worked amazing. There was no scrubbing. I literally sprayed it on, let it dry down, and then used a wet wash rag to wipe it off. And it was amazing. Everything that was baked on, gone. Easy as pie. <laughs> You'll see I am just putting away a bunch of cleaning product that I just received. I got those from Grove Collaborative. I did resubscribe. I will leave the Grove link down below in the description. I will also try to remember to link that Grove haul up above for you guys. Um, honestly, I was just looking for this stainless steel cleaner. It is the Method stainless steel cleaner. And the only place I could find it was Grove, and it's my absolute favorite stainless steel cleaner. So I went back to Grove, guys. I went back. When it hurts like So that there in the purple spray is the Method Anti-Back. I don't always use the Anti-Back. Usually I just use the Method All-Purpose Cleaner. Um, but today I did feel like I wanted to use something a little stronger, I guess, in your normal uh, just daily cleaner. So this countertop is kind of our daily catch-all right now, especially with schooling from home or distance learning. Um, a lot of that is the kids' school stuff that they use on a daily basis. So I really don't have a spot for it, a good spot anyway. So I just kind of a little bit reorganized it a bit and stacked it up and wiped down the counter. Unfortunately, although on Sightly, it really has nowhere else to go. So the runner here finally came out of the wash, so I wanted to put it on real quick, even though I had already wiped this down earlier. Um, that is an actual table runner. It's super long. I do fold it in half so I can or so it'll fit on my little coffee table there Okay guys, I need another tip. I absolutely love 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 my table My mom bought it for me and I really don't want to get rid of it, but the top has like carved pieces you guys can see it and it just it doesn't clean there's gunk, nastiness, all in the cracks and crevices of it, and although I try my best, I have tried cleaning it out, and it literally, it kind of has ruined the top of the table, so that's why you always see me put a tablecloth on. So, if you have any suggestions on what I could do to make it look better, leave those down in the comments, because I don't, I don't know what to do, and I don't even know that it's real wood, so I don't know if even sanding it 
down would do any good. I don't know. Please help. <laughs> So typically it is Mia's job to um, sweep the kitchen and dining room floor and then she sweeps all the other hard areas in our house. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and vacuum all this up just so I could go through and mop when I was done. Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there the oh cedar spin mop i absolutely love it guys i got mine at sam's club and then i am just using the purple fabuloso which i also bought at sam's club it smells amazing i highly recommend it it is a streak streak free <laughs> uh cleaner and it i love it it doesn't leave a film or anything on our laminate flooring in the kitchen and dining room so you're the light that makes me blush I won't look back when you're around I won't think twice when you're gone Don't hesitate to call me back Cause I won't be there All right, guys, we are officially all done cleaning. I know I didn't show the bathrooms. I apologize for that. I honestly didn't get to them this day. I ended up doing them later. But anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe before you head out today. Give this a big thumbs up, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.